Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, and I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about uh, something that's kind of been weighing on my on my heart a little bit. And um, y'all know that we are moving eventually, and I kind of wanted to cover a lot of the stuff from this property that we've done and. It's weird, like, the first memory when we first stepped foot on this property to view it when it was for sale till now, uh, man, there's so many, like, feelings and emotions and you just look around and it, it wasn't like this uh, from the first day that we moved here. So I'm going to go over some stuff so that you guys can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about and where things were and all the work that we've done to this place. I mean, it's just crazy, you know? So I kind of want to talk about that today. Uh, a little different kind of video. So let me turn this around so you guys can see a little bit. So we're at the back of the property right now. Okay, so the very first thing that you'll notice um, is this is the original deck this 14 by 16 <laughs> pardon the chickens here so this is the original deck it comes out and it comes over this was the original deck and the stairs were right there so we built this two-tiered for the pool put the pool in the very first year we were here in July and we built this uh, 10 by 12 here um, as well. So that is like the first thing that you'll notice was one of the first things that we did um, on the property. And then over here there used to be an old aluminum shed and it's crazy because looking at the yard from in relation to where it was to the house. So a reference point that first tree right there when we came and visited the property, all the way down, the front of the shed was right here. So that last 12 feet was just brush and garbage in there. So they would stop mowing all the way from here. And if you're looking, <laughs> and it's crazy, so they would literally just stop mowing right here and the front of the shed was right here and it was strange because we still had another 12 feet of yard that was it had brush in it they had thrown garbage that they had burnt in it there was old wood piles stuck in there uh, brambles and oh my gosh everything you could think of so the first thing that we did was we took that shed down it was right here and we built the chicken coop with it so <laughs> but in order to do that um, when they built the house the house was only eight years old when we got here and from digging out the foundation it was a four foot uh, crawl space so all here if you can envision there was a five foot mounded dirt pile all the way down that we had to level out and we leveled it all out we threw it all in here after we cleared it out there were just holes and divots all over here <laughs> so we took a lot of those dirt piles and spread it out all through the yard man i didn't think pardon me i didn't think those dirt mounds would ever go away they were so high and it was back-breaking work to move those dirt piles so after we moved the dirt pile from it was from there we moved it from till about right here and there was a four foot wall before we built the shed and I don't I don't think I have any footage of it I'll try to look for it so then we built the kip chicken coop yep after we finally leveled it all off and we used that old shed to build the chicken coop with it and the roof and everything so then we were like man we got a lot of stuff right 
So our next project was to build the shed. And that's a 10 by 12 shed. We built it by hand, Alicia and I did. And her sister had the same 10 by, uh, 10 by 10 shed that we did and it got blown over from a storm. So we took it, we went over to her house, dismantled it all and built our shed with it. Yep, roof and, and everything. And the little pieces that we had left over from ours, uh, we utilized it. And then we continued to um, move that dirt pile. And the last bit of it was right here where those stumps were that we cleared out, uh, was that two years ago? That was the last bit of that uh, foundation, <laughs> which was crazy. I mean, that was a lot of work. So when you look around um, and see all the changes that we made, and then we built the fence and put the fence all the way around uh, two years ago as well. And it's crazy how time flies, you know, with um, things that you're improving your property. But um, looking around, we have completely outgrown this property. You know, we want to have a bigger garden. We want to um, have my mom and my stepdad live with us. So we need more space. There's no room to really put a mother-in-law suite or anything. So um, that is one of the decisions that we made almost three years ago is that we will eventually outgrow this property. And as sad as it is, because looking around, um, it's really a great property, it really is. But we hate our neighbors. Absolutely cannot stand the neighbors. Um, if they were a little different, we might stay longer. But from what we want to do and retire early, um, there's no possibility for this land to do with what, what we really want to do. You know, there just isn't. We've, we've maximized and, uh, moved stuff around, um, where we, we really can't move any farther with what we want to do. So, um, we know it's time to go and this is a really great starter property and, um, the lot is a lot smaller than, than, uh, what we want, but looking from this corner to the yard, it's actually a very nice lot. We have a lot of room, but we've maximized it. Oh, uh, we want bigger gardens. We want tons and tons of more, um, gardening space. We want to put in a greenhouse. Um, we want our mother, uh, to move with us and there's no space to build, uh, another house literally. So, um, <laughs> it's sad. It really is. And the things that we want to do, this property is just not, just not big enough. It's, yeah, we've we reached the max from this property and... Uh, we want to have some more animals and this just isn't, I mean, this is urban enough, but it's just not secluded enough um, to have, you know, livestock or goats or whatever. Um, we're just not really sure. So, so yeah, so sharing all that with you guys, um, this property has come a very, very long way and we're out of space we're out of space and we're out of time but it, I, and i'm not i'm not saying that uh gosh i don't really i can't really put it all into words because um when we knew immediately when we found this place um that we loved it we loved the house we loved the yard we knew it had work uh, when we bought it and it's it's crazy to see all your hard work and then 
you have to leave it. Um, but knowing, knowing that you've reached your full potential, I guess, at a property, and it's been a really good property, it really has, and um, you put your heart, your soul, your sweat, your dreams um, into a property and on a property, and you see it grow, and then you learn, and then you expand your knowledge, um, and you want more, you know? That's what's, uh, that is what really is the heartfelt part about owning property, is you fall in love with it, and you make it yours, and you put your blood, sweat, and tears in it, and one day you realize it's not big enough. Um, that you want more, you want to do more, uh, you have so much more in your head that you can do, but you're limited to the space on which to do it. Uh, so, yeah, just kind of reflecting back, I mean, it's crazy how this property was so overgrown and it was so uncared for, and then just to to make it yours and how far you come uh, with a piece of property. Um, wow. And the things that you learn from putting your hands in the dirt around it and making decks and making, uh, you know, stairs and making a chicken coop, making a shed. It's like, man, we, we did this, you know, we made this, we made this our, our own. So, um, Coming to a realization, Alicia and I were talking um, about the potential of moving somewhere else, and it's crazy. Um, I have a flood of words that I really, you know, but I, I can't. I mean, you can't. You can't really put them into words um, when you come to an agreement where you've just it's it's time to go and time to pick up but the thing about the thing about that is uh, financially so our finances were not in the best um, in the best place but now they are and it's weird because with all the shutdowns um, through you know the pandemic and everything um, we've <laughs> we have done very well with the money from you know the extra unemployment and everything and have paid everything off um, and we're in a much better position now to save um, for that bigger piece of property and it's almost there guys and it's crazy how in a short period of time it might only be six months and it feels like forever but when you get there uh, <laughs> wow the emotions of how proud you are of yourself and that you can do it you know you it just takes time time takes so much longer than what than what you have in your head honestly um because you you want something so bad and you have the desire to go after it and then once you've achieved that what's crazy is that you know you can go farther um, you can do more uh, just by learning to have a little bit of patience and the tenacity uh, to, to get there you know to the end of that so yeah so that's that's the journey we're on guys and uh, I wish Alicia was here because then we could talk a little bit more um, about really the realization of this property is it's we've reached our max <laughs> you know for what we can do with it and for where we want our lifestyles to go so just a little uh kind of reflection video for you guys and thanks for watching guys if you're new here subscribe like uh hit the thumbs up button leave me a comment and i love all my peeps guys where are you at uh hit me up all right guys we'll catch you later